Hello Adventurers, this is Miss Megan with Warrensburg Adventure Club and today I'm going to show you how to make a yarn ball. Now I know it seems kind of silly to make a yarn ball when you have this nice skein like this, especially when you can pull straight out from the middle, but I am going to explain why you should always roll your yarn into balls. It'll make your life so much easier, especially when you're working on crochet or knitting projects. So I'm going to show you how to do that. This is one of the large skeins of Red Heart that you can pick up at Walmart for about seven or eight dollars. I'm not gonna roll the whole thing into one ball, but instead I'll roll it into several. I'm only gonna do one for the purpose of this video. I'm taking off the paper sleeve here, but you can also leave it on until you're done rolling it into balls. Either way works. You'll notice that there are two different ends to our yarn. One is coming from the inside of the skein, and one is coming from the outside. Wrap the one that's on the outside around the skein and tuck it in so it doesn't get in the way, like this. You always want to pull from the inside of your skein. Pulling from the outside causes it to flip around while you roll, and this could cause your yarn to tangle. Start your yarn ball by wrapping a bunch of yarn around your fingers. I would wrap it on your non-dominant hand, and don't wrap it too tight. We have to take this off our fingers in a second. Carefully slide this yarn off your hand, but keep a hold on it. Start wrapping your yarn the opposite way, or against the grain. You'll wrap about the same amount you did onto your hand. Now you want to turn your yarn and start wrapping it the opposite way again. Your yarn should naturally be taking a ball shape at this point. From here on out, continue turning your yarn a little bit at a time, continuously wrapping. And if you turn and wrap it consistently, you'll have a nice yarn ball in no time. When it comes to the tightness of the ball, I would err on the side of wrapping it looser than tighter. Yarn is made of various fibers that have various degrees of stretch. If you wrap it too tightly, it might stretch out your yarn. Once your yarn ball is about the size of a softball, you're ready to cut it off and tuck the end in. This is the real magic right here. To tuck in your end, wrap the yarn in the same direction you were just wrapping it. Using your finger, grip a group of strings, pull up, and slip your end through the loop you just created. Make sure to leave a nice sized end so your future self can find it. If you pull it decently snug, your yarn ball shouldn't come undone and tangle with your other yarn balls. Here I'm just showing you how easy it is to untuck your yarn and use it as needed and to tuck it back in when you're done. Now the reason we want to wrap our yarn into balls is to prevent tangling. Notice how we created this tunnel in our skein. Even if you pull from the inside of your skein while you work on a project, when you put it in your project bag, it can get knocked around, folded, crushed, what have you, and it will get tangled. Basically, you're going to save yourself a lot of time and frustration if you always complete this first step before starting a knitting or crochet project. And that is how you roll a yarn ball. Again, very, very important before you start any kind of knitting or crochet project to make all of your yarn into these balls. They're a lot easier to deal with, more compact, all the same size. It'll be a lot easier to store. And most importantly, they will not become as tangled and knotted as if you kept them in the skein. So I hope that was helpful and I can't wait to teach you all more about crochet later on in the summer. But until then, this has been Miss Megan from Warren's Pregnant Adventure Club. Hope you guys have a great day. Bye.